phase two, does it actually work? So now that we know it's safe, phase two asks, does it actually help with growing hair? So this is where we start testing it on patients with hair loss usually a few hundred participants. And this is one of the reasons I have to say I've been containing my personal excitement about PP405's recent phase 2A trials as they were only done on 78 participants, not 300. And remember, given only half of that group actually were exposed to the actual drug and not the placebo, that means a lot of the hype has really been generated from less than 40 participants. It's a classroom of kids. I mean, when you look at it like that, you can probably appreciate why I haven't told my 74-year-old dad with a Norwood 12 about this particular ingredient just yet. Anyway, moving on. Phase 2 trials are randomized and often double-blinded, meaning neither the patient nor the doctor knows who's getting the real thing versus placebo. With PP405, early phase 2A trials are investigating does it increase hair count? Does it prolong the antigen phase of the growth cycle? How does it compare to existing treatments like minoxidil, for instance? This is the phase where hope starts turning into evidence. It's exciting, but many drugs fail here because what works in theory or in animals doesn't always work on human scalps. 